Hello there. I'm Scotty. You're not. And, um, yeah, sorry. It took, well, I usually put it out anyway, but it's a little bit later. This usually be up like 8 o'clock-ish. Would have been noon-ish, because of <clears throat> that was a uh, full moon Friday that I put up earlier. Pre-recording things and all that. Um, but the last... The last day of the month happened to be on a Friday, which is when I get paid, which means I couldn't film anything until after I went shopping to buy stuff. And I got two bags of real shit here. And I, I also got a whole stack here. So we're going to start with the Blu-rays, and then we're going to go into what I have in the bags. Uh, the Blu-rays and the DVDs. So we have Fern Gully Last Rain 4. Man, this is... I'm so happy I found this. 30th anniversary Blu-ray. I always want to get my childhood movies on Blu-ray. I've not watched this yet, so I cannot tell you what the transfer's like. But this is one of my favorite movies growing up. I know nostalgia could have ripped us to pieces, but I, I still love it, man. We got The Black Phone, which came out this year. And it's a pretty good movie. Uh, I reviewed it off Peacock, and then I, like, the next week, it came out, and I bought it. So... And this one comes all the way from a Spain, from beyond, or Resonator, from beyond. Do you think they're trying to capitalize on Reanimator? Just, just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. But yeah, it's a Spanish release. The menu is in Spanish, but the I actually played, the transfer looks great. And uh, the movie is in English, so I made sure. Okay, now we go to DVDs. We have Spree, which I haven't watched yet. I haven't recorded my review for it yet. But uh, Joe Curie is in it. There he is. There and there. So I'm very interested on in this movie. I don't know what activity next of kin. They only had a DVD. Why? You can get a Blu-ray, but you got to get the entire collection. If you're willing to spend, like, almost $100 for it. I'm telling you, that's what they... I don't get it can get the entire collection on DVD. I think I bought my DVD collection of the, enti the entire first six films for 20 bucks even. But you add one more and you put it on Blu-ray and it's like 100-ish. I don't know. But this is the, I just want this on Blu-ray. This is a DVD. I don't understand that. My whole thing is I was going to get them all individually on Blu-ray. Well, that fucked that up, didn't it? We have a movie I've torn to shreds, but... I've kind of thought about it. It's the gallows. If they change the ending up, I, I kind of come up with an idea to make this and a sequel connected to this better than this dumbass, stupid piece of shit sequel that we had to work with this. And it would get rid of. Well, it would. It would get rid of. Spoilers for it. It would get, off, get rid of Pfeiffer being an accomplice in favor of well essentially my idea is you know in the movie Reese he goes to run out the, the back door because he sees it open but he hears her scream my idea to end that movie is he actually runs out and hears her scream when he goes to run back in the door shuts and she's declared missing and so in the second film we follow him filming himself trying to find her he's now in college and everything and bring Reese's dad in and kind of add some mythology to it. It's an idea. Uh, we got Manhunter, the original Hannibal Lecter movie. With Brian Cox playing Hannibal Lecter. I haven't watched this yet. I haven't got, I, I'm pre recording stuff for Halloween Horror Month. I haven't gotten to the week, what is it? Week, week three. Week three is when I start doing these. I am rounding a corner to that. I just did Hostel 2. I gotta do Hostel 3 and The Dead Zone for uh, Stephen King's Saturday Night. Whoops, there you go. That's one of them. Uh, and then I'll start the Hannibal Lecter movies, but uh, I'm very close. So, yeah, this is, a, this is probably gonna be one that sticks out out of all those, but. Unfriended Dark Web. If, you, if you're wondering, if you, if you don't know, essentially what I'm doing is a found footage ranking of all the found footage movies I own. So I went out and I bought some to kind of make the list bigger. So we have Unfriended Dark Web, which I reviewed. 
and I didn't think it was as good as the first one, but I figured I had to add it because I had the first one. Quarantine. Did not buy the second one because the second one's not found footage. Just this one. It's not connected to Rec, which is what it's... This, this, it wasn't shaking, but, uh, which is what it's based off of. But I have seen this, and I think it's okay. The Den. Haven't watched this yet. It's another one found footage. Screen one, like, searching, but, you know, and I'm friended. Xanadu. I used to have this. Might still have it somewhere. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, since her passing, I bought it. It's going to be in an 80s-related video series, as review series, as well as this one going to be in the 90s uh, review series. Varsity Blues. I love this movie, man. I love this movie. It's, it's a great movie. Paul Walker, James Van Der Beek, Scott Kahn, uh, Ali Larder, and Amy Schmart. Just, it's a good movie. This one I got just because of the slipcover. Oh, just cause of the slipcover, and there's more in the bag, but like, John Wick with the VHS slip. This is my third copy of the first John Wick movie. The first the first one's a steelbook, the second one is a Blu-ray with a slipcover, and then this one's a DVD with a slipcover. I like to buy slipcovers, and you're going to see that in the bags, but uh, we got the collections now. Children of the Corn collection. I am reviewing the first one for Stephen King Saturday Night in October. These... I, I gotta get three more movies before I finish these. It could be next year. I might just throw them in the summer during the harvest season. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's six here, plus three more. That's nine. There's ten altogether. Uh, Stephen King, King of Horror Expanded Edition. So I have the Blu ray that has Salem's Lot, The Shining, Cat's Eye, and It. This one is an expanded edition on DVD that also includes Creep Show, Shawshank Redemption, Green Mile, and the reason I bought it, Dreamcatcher, because I said in my review that my DVD copy of Dreamcatcher stopped working. It was all fucked up. There's a bump in it. So I bought this collection specifically that, and the very next day I bought it after I did that review. Oh, <laughs> uh, that review hasn't come out yet. So, oops. That comes out tomorrow. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, our side's got the ball. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'll say that. I say in that review that uh, I wasn't able to finish it. But the very next day after I watched it, I found this and I finished watching it. I did it. But uh, yeah. Two movie collection. Wolf of Wall Street, which I already had. But I bought this specifically for Shutter Island. It's a Scorsese tube film collection. This one... I don't know why I bought it. It's a Cross three film collection. And I've heard of Cross because it was a movie we rented when it, when it came out. I never watched it. My friends watched it. I never watched it. But then they, I didn't know they made sequels. Cross Wars and Cross Rise of the Villains. I don't. Danny Trejo is in so And Vinnie Jones. So, you know. And they got two TV seasons here Cobra Kai season four. Because I'm collecting them. I will be doing them as part of the Karate Kid. Review series next year. But I also rebought seasons one and two because I can't find my copy anywhere. So I rebought them, and if I find them, I'll give that copy to a friend of mine. I already told him I would. Uh, before I continue to the stuff I bought today, I do have a Funko Pop here, but I'm waiting till I reveal the other Funko Pops that I have. So, ah. Mountain Dew, Zero Sugar, Voodoo. All right, let's get the movies out. Oh, that's another thing. Put that over there. Okay, I didn't get that many movies today. We'll start with the Blu-ray. We got Thor The Dark World, which I have seen on Disney+. Plus. I will do a review in November, most likely, of this. Uh, I, th I actually thought it was good. I don't get the hate for this. Yes, there's a lot of comedy, but I actually thought it was good. I enjoyed it, okay? Open it up so we can see the blue disc. They never... I wish they would just, uh, this is just the Blu-ray. There's the digital code. There's a bunch of other stuff, Disney Plus, and four movies for one. And there's the disc, which is a plain-ass blue. I wish they would go back to actually putting designs on discs. I miss that. I miss it. Because now they're just plain discs. Like that, or that. It's plain. It's very plain. 
And then I got three slip covers. We'll start with the Vieto Juice. Vieto Juice. Slip cover that. Eat your time. I bought these because, okay, so, hold on. Turn over here. You see on that shelf over there next to the TV, right? I have my ET 4K, the Jaws 4K, and the Terminator NECA figure up there, okay? But I, plan I wanted to decorate it for Halloween. And so I have some Halloween slip covers, but I figured I could buy more. And so I bought Vieto Juice and the two Halloweens. You'll see those. They got a pretty cool design. I they had Halloween 2018, but it was the, the glow in the dark like this, and I, I, don't, I don't want too many of those. Again, plain Jane disc, and it's just a DVD, but I did it for the slip cover. And then we got Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. This one is not unrated, so I wonder if this is the R-rated version. It says R-rated on it. So maybe the ending will be different, I'll have to check, but... Look at those slips. Look at those slips. When you pull it out, it has that one. My kitty. I said, I don't hate. I said, in my, I already did this. So I, I said in my ranking of the Rob Zombie was I don't hate ha the Rob Zombie Halloween. But I feel like the first half is worthless. It's all Rob Zombie redneck bullshit. And I don't need it. None of my Halloween movies, no sir. And again, look at that, look at that disc. That's even worse than the the one for Cobra Kai. It's just white. It's racist. Well, it is Rob Zombie. No, just, he's not racist. He's just a redneck. And that's the character in this movie. Yeah, I got it because of the slip. That is an awesome slip. We had like Saw, the Saw collection. I, I won't rebuy collections, because those are more expensive. It's only $5 for the, these were $6. And the Beetlejuice one was 5 so, family is forever. Yeah, but the star is family. Oh, that stink. Yeah, oh, that stink. And again, blank ass disc. I think the, the Blu rays have more design on it than that. I think the, the Blu ray, Blu ray, same for the. Those are those. Alright. Oh, um. Move this. Since I have a little bit. Alright. So now we're going to stuff that's not DVD or Blu ray. So, first and foremost, I got this Funko. It's Hannibal Lecter. Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal Lecter. Which I will be putting in my Hannibal Lecter videos. Yes, Hannibal. I ate his liver. This is also. Is the or has the distinction of being my first ever horror 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 Funko because I don't have any horror ones. Uh, this is the first one, and then I have this Neca Tooney Terrors Yetel Juice, and of course we're gonna open it because I I open these and I put the display over there. So why do you have to tie in these bullshits? Let me get the schizors. <clears throat> I think I should cut my hair. You're gonna get a haircut. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Scott. Scotty. Alright. There he is. Showtime. Here for your daughter, Chuck. Yes, Yeto Juice. Jazz. Stand up over there. Okay, so now, so what had happened was I saved 50 bucks and I was going to get an eBay card. So I went over to Hy-Vee, which is a store in my area. Uh, so I went over to Hy-Vee. They didn't have a single eBay card, they didn't have them at Walmart. I looked. So what am I gonna do? I got 50 bucks in my wallet. What am I gonna do? I can wait. But I'm like, you know what? I have a five below store, like right kitty corner to me. I'm like, it's on my way home. Why don't I check in five below? And it's a good thing I did. I got a whole bag of shits right here. So we got two Funkos, which I'll continue. 
We have Alexa Bliss with the that look. Okay. And we have Ow! Have mercy! Dude love! Hey, 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 hey. They had some other ones, but nothing that caught my eye. And then we have this thing. No! Oh, I bought the wrong one. Shh. Do I have five bucks to go back? This is supposed to be Arnold Shortman's. And it's Eliza fucking do do little. Eliza fucking No! It's not what I wanted to get. And then we have Gerald. I or Harold. Harold? Gerald. It's Gerald. I'm gonna have to go back. Because I wanna get. And then there's this thing. It says Gohan with sword. It's fucking Goku. That's Goku. Look, see? It's Goku. Goku. Not Gohan used to be store. And I bought these. These are lanyards with keychain things. Okay? All right, and I'm gonna open it. Let's see what I get. This looks like slight red. Ooh, red eyes, black dragon. Oh, it's it's a lanyard thing. Oh, I thought it was a key. Okay, red eyes, black dragon. Yeah, it's a picture. I thought it was like a. I didn't realize that's what it was. I thought it was like a little metal thingy. We'll see what this one is. Blue. Ooh. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. That's cool. Kaiba. So is the next one going to be a Yugi one? It probably will be, but it'll probably end up being Dark Magician Girl. And if I do get Dark Magician Girl, I'm going to give it to... Big LT, but no, this is Obelisk the Tormentor. Obelisk the Tormentor. I have an Egyptian god monster. There it is here. I'll open up the Goku. Goku. It's not Gohan. King Goku. Look at this. Look, even the hair. Look at that. That's Goku. Oh, wait. Oh, it is Gohan. It's got the... He's got the ponytail. I didn't realize that. It is Gohan. It's Gohan... Uh, between... Kid in teen when he was scraggly hair i didn't realize that but don't i bought this to rant about it that's why i bought it and so now it's useless to rant about it eliza thornberry i did not mean to get eliza thornberry or is it eliza what is it mean? whatever um i have six dollar I have ten dollar. I can. I have ten dollar. I can go over and get that one that I meant to get, which I'll do after I end this video. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on this haul of mine? This little haul of mine. Leave a comment below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next.